Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to Atletico Madrid's relatively new stadium. So I'm looking forward to it. So stay tuned. Estadio Metropolitano. It's like a ghost town here. I can't imagine how busy this place would be on a European night. I'm the only man here. I have the stadium all to myself, ladies and gentlemen. So now I have to find the meeting point. Doesn't seem to be too many people around. I'm glad I'm getting some daylight hours here. Still bright, it's five o'clock. Um, it cost uh, 24 euro, one euro cheaper than the ticket to go to the Real Madrid stadium. So let's see if that euro makes much of a difference. Must be in the right place. I really do have all the stadium to myself, it seems. I arrived at 5.15 and the stadium closes at 6, so I better get a move on. Yeah, so they were telling me to hurry, pretty much. So, so this is where the great Alvaro Morata plays. Presidential box. This must be where Joe Biden is. Yeah, what an impressive stadium and I have it all to myself. That's the good thing about going to Madrid in the middle of January. You're not going to get many tourists it seems, luckily enough. So yeah, this is the pre presidential box, which is nice. It doesn't have the massive TV on the top. If you look very closely, you can see the great Thomas Party. Hola. Hola. Spanish English? English. English. So here you have to tell me who is your favorite player from the current team. I'll move quick, yeah. Huh? You have the cool stuff now. Oh, okay, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, he says the best is yet to come, which is a good thing because I'm enjoying it so far. It's already a lot better than the Real Madrid tour. It's miles better. You get to do everything. Presidential box to, to VR. So this is where all the players make the walk. Estoy impresionado. Extremely impressive. Way better than the Real Madrid tour so far. And it's a euro cheaper. I know the Real Madrid one is still in renovations, but still can't take away that it's better. Vamos amigos into the changing room. O'Donnell is an Irish name. Sure, he is Irish man. I 
The dressing room is actually surprisingly not over the top. I thought it'd be a bit more fancy, but we'll see what more there is. I mean, there's so much in this tour. You get great value for money. You get to see everything. The only thing you don't get to see is the players at this point, pretty much. After that, you can't really have any complaints. Okay. Oh, I never knew the original colours were blue and white. It's interesting. That looks warm enough if you were standing on the goal line for long enough. Have a nice gansey for yourself. Nineteen ninety six. Spider Man two sponsor. Wow, that's a very interesting design. And yeah, at the end of the road, we see the blue and white again, the 120th uh, anniversary in 2023. That's impressive. It's very impressive. There's so much to do. They're all quite light, these footballers. So this fellow is around the same height as me. Uh, 74 kg just shows you. Cardio is the most important thing, so they can't be too heavy in this game. It doesn't matter as much for the goalies, they can get away with it. But even the big centre-backs, look at this. Yeah, they're all very light. Damn, these jerseys are amazing. I wear that in a night out. Yeah, so that's that tour, ladies and gentlemen. Very impressive. Way better than the Real Madrid Bernabeu, unfortunately. If I had, I just have to pick. Very impressive. So, my highlights of the tour were. What were my highlights? I think the best thing was being down pitch side. Being down pitch side, even though they had the lights on, the grass, and they were. So that took away from it. It doesn't really feel like you're there with an empty pitch and the goal set up. You know, that's when you really feel like the proper stadium. But uh, no, I got a proper full experience. So, yeah, so great experience. I recommend it, 24 euro. Um, it's a good bit outside the city. It's probably 40 minutes public transport out, so you get the metro. Um, yeah, there's plenty of options with metros and buses. You can obviously get an Uber as well, but I definitely recommend public transport. It's a lot cheaper and it makes a lot more sense. Um, I suppose an only downside was the Atletico Madrid store, as you can guess, is extremely expensive. 
over you'd easily be paying well over 100 euro for a jersey and not even anything close to 100 euro if you got anything close to 100 euro you'd be finding a bargain but it's not as bad as a real madrid's um store there was a bellingham jersey and that was 185 euro so you know that's uh particularly expensive so i would 100 percent recommend visiting the atletico madrid stadium and i can't pronounce the name so i'm not even going to bother but yeah i recommend anyone to go I think it's better than the uh, than the Bernabeu. It's more authentic. Obviously, Madrid have a lot more trophies to see, but apart from that, yeah, you're up high. You don't even get to go on, down to ground level. I'm still getting used to uh, this Spanish life, so I am. I'm, I'm fairly out of touch, as you can gather. So I need to start improving. Um, yeah. Mi hablo español muy básico. Lo siento, ladies and gentlemen.